keeping herself busy doing wedding research for you. <laughs> oh, she, she doesn't have to do that. She wants to. After all, you were her maid of honor. <laughs> Sheldon, tell your funny story about pretzels. <laughs> Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you know that we've been thinking of having pretzels at our wedding? Hmm? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, rhino. We're having rhinos at our wedding. No, I'm... I gotta go. <laughs> People in a wedding party perform very specific functions, and some will perform those better than others. If I may use a superhero analogy... You may not. Okay, I'll use real people. Um, <laughs> If a certain dog-like loyalty is useful, then it's Leonard. Hmm? If uh, having a Pez dispenser filled with Tums is an advantage, wallow it. Um, <laughs> if a best man with fake testicles hanging from his truck is important, well, then my brother's back in the running. Uh, I am starting a book. That would be big news from Penny, but you've read a book before. He means he's writing a book. I do. It's something I've been thinking about for a long time. Yeah, it's about a brilliant physicist who solves crimes using science. Yeah. Oh, Leonard. it's not about you. <laughs> he probably has to say that for legal reasons. Penny? What? You know what? I'll take care of it. Whoa, oh, she, Howard Wallowitz. <laughs> Mega woman, Chow Fan. <laughs> Pangja Indu Pangya Bugao Singa Siasia Done. You didn't make him feel bad, did you? Actually, he was laughing. <laughs> I'm really impressed at how you handled that, Howard. Please, I've been sending food back my entire life. One of my first full sentences was I had breast milk. Oh. Dealing with cold feet is an important part of being both best man and maid of honor. Maybe we should test for that ability. You really think you might get cold feet? Actually, I was talking about you. Amy, if there's one thing in this world I'm sure of, you are right to be worried. <laughs> Did Sheldon and Amy give you guys that puzzle too? Yeah, is it just me or have they been acting strange? I don't think they're acting. <laughs> Yeah, the other day, Sheldon made me take him to the train store. We didn't go inside. He just said, nicely done, and then we went home. Yeah, and Amy gave me this plastic ring and told me to hold on to it. I got one, too. Yeah, same. Yeah, me, too. But, but cinnamon ate it. <laughs> I, I, I'll get it back tomorrow. Are you testing us to see who gets to be in your wedding? No. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> They're rating us. What? And I'm in last? Wait, wait, don't panic. There's still time. Look, it's a marathon, not a sprint. <laughs> you know what? This is so insulting. I, I don't even want to be your stupid best man. Yeah. Me neither. Um, no, wait, 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 wait. Just out of curiosity, which one of you figured it out? I did. Impressive. <laughs> Amy's your best friend. I'm sure she'll come to her senses and pick you. OK. She's not my best friend. We're not 12. She wants Bernadette to be her maid of honor. I really don't care. Sounds like you care. No, I mean, it, it's just annoying. You know, we talk every day. We see each other all the time. She's always there for me. And basically, oh my god, Amy's my best friend. You OK? No, my best friend didn't ask me to be her maid of honor. I'm pissed. So bottom line, what you did was wrong and cruel which the mother of my children finds oddly appealing. So she still wants to be my maid of honor? Maid of honor, hit woman, whatever you need. Make the call. Look, I know this is your wedding and you can do whatever you want, but if you think anyone but me is gonna be your maid of honor, then you're an idiot because you are my best friend. Too late, Bernadette. Bestie!